here's the challenge. See if you can tell the difference. Which side of your screen is the Donald Trump re-election event? And which one is a court appearance? Kind of hard to tell the difference. For the record, the left is a campaign event in New Hampshire. The right is a Miami courthouse where Trump was arraigned. Okay. It's no mistake the feel is the same. Right, thank you, press. Thank it's what Trump's team is going for. The former president's re-election bid is largely centered around fighting his 91 criminal charges. There's no crime, and there was no crime here at all. One of the questions I'm asked most often by viewers, friends, and family is if Donald Trump is convicted of a crime, wouldn't that prevent him from returning to the White House? The short answer is no, probably not. But there are so many different ways that this could play out. Let's start with his eligibility. If Trump is convicted on these charges, does that disqualify him from running for office? No, it doesn't. There are specific grounds in the Constitution where a candidate would be ineligible to hold the office as the president, and being convicted of a felony isn't one of them. The bar is pretty low when it comes to presidential qualifications. The Constitution says you need to be at least 35 years old, be a natural-born citizen, and have lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years. And you're not allowed to have engaged in an insurrection. So then what about January 6th, you may be asking? We're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania Avenue. And we're going to the Capitol. The state of Colorado tried to ban Trump from its primary election ballots, citing that insurrection provision in the Constitution. But the Supreme Court rejected that argument unanimously. Our political and legal systems are being stress tested in ways that has never happened before. Trump is facing four criminal trials. Experts say jail time is least likely in the New York hush money case. He's accused of falsifying business records to hide payments to women, including porn star Stormy Daniels, to keep his alleged affairs secret. A guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. There's a much stronger chance of prison with a guilty verdict in the Florida classified documents case. Remember the photo of the top secret papers by the toilet? It's all part of the allegations he mishandled and willfully withheld classified materials. Jail time prospects are the same if there's a guilty verdict in the Georgia election interference case. Trump is one of 19 co-defendants accused of trying to overturn the state's voting results. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes which is one more that we have because we won the state. Same with the charges in the Washington, D.C. election subversion case, likely the most serious, accused of orchestrating an elaborate scheme to stay in power involving election fraud lies and efforts to disrupt the certification of vote results. If there's a scenario where Donald Trump is serving prison time, what happens if he's in jail and wins the election? If he's in jail and he wins the election, one way or another, I think he'll have to be released during the pendency of his term. If he's released, it raises the question about whether he may try to pardon himself. I could have pardoned myself when I left. People said, would you like to pardon yourself? I had a couple of attorneys that said, you can do it if you want. Uh, I had some people that said it would look bad if you do it because I think it would look terrible. Whatever Trump says, legal experts are divided on whether a president can self-pardon because it's never happened before. This is all so wild. Did you ever think we'd ever be contemplating these questions? Uh, no, not quite like this. All of these possibilities remain hypotheticals since his most serious trials have been repeatedly delayed. What happens if Donald Trump wins the election, but his trials haven't started and everything's been delayed? What happens then? As Matthew explains, it depends. For the federal trials in Florida and Washington. He can order his attorney general to drop all charges against him. Um, and so if he returns to the White House and those criminal cases are still pending, and it looks like one way or another they will be, even if a trial is completed, he can just make those go away. 
But as president, Trump's powers would be limited when it comes to the state level cases in New York and Georgia. He has virtually no power over the state criminal cases except the power to delay. So the state cases are an important bulwark against complete impunity. The New York case is the only trial with a firm start date set for later this month. With every day that passes, it becomes more and more likely that Trump's other trials could get delayed until after the election. How exceptional is this moment in American history? Uh, it's unprecedented. You know, American political history has seen um, cataclysmic uh, conflict and violence. Nonetheless, we've never had someone who occupied the Oval Office who tried to subvert the Constitution and the rule of law in such a fundamental way. We're going to bring our country back. For hardworking Americans, November 5th will be our new Liberation Day. But for the liars and cheaters and fraudsters and censors and imposters who have commandeered our government, it will be their Judgment Day. Trump has turned his legal problems into a political advantage, raising millions of dollars from his supporters who view him as a victim of political persecution. What do you make of the criminal charges Donald Trump's facing? It's a fake indictment. They're all trumped up charges. To, they're just trying to keep him away from running. Thank you, everybody. Trump is well on his way to clinching the Republican presidential nomination. His supporters are confident and excited about his possible return to the White House. If you got rats in the basement and the guy who shows up is a junkyard dog and he get rid of the, get rid of the rats in the basement, I'll take him any day. Trump's our junkyard dog. So while legal problems won't stop Trump from running, winning, or serving, his campaign is looking to broaden his base of support, to win over voters who might look at his court dates with a lot more skepticism. Polls right now suggest the general public is turned off by the legal saga. But Trump is the kind of candidate who continually defies predictions and expectations. So whether charges, trials, and possible jail time will be deal breakers for voters in this unpredictable political climate, who knows?